Hi everybody, it's Brian the Scrap Guy, and I am going to show you how to make the flip photo album that I also did for the Everyday Cricket post today. Um, it looks a little like this, and it folds up, and then you put the belly band on top. So I'm going to walk you through the measurements and how to do it, and then I'm also going to um, post a cut file with all of the, everything pre-laid out, so all you have to do is cut it. Uh, but I've pre-cut everything to speed it up because we only have 10 minutes to get through the, the process. So, get a pen and paper handy, if you, which I have pre-cut and pre-inked all of the edges on everything, pre-scored, but I'm going to walk you through where we scored it. Um, if you lay it down, uh, total measurement is 4.5 inches wide by 12 inches long. Turn it to look like this on either your score pal or your Martha Stewart scoreboard, which I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard myself. Uh, you score at one and three eighths, at two, at five and three eighths, and at eight and three quarters. Score, and then you'll fold it up, and it'll fold like this. So it makes a little purse or pouch. Inside, I'm using double-sided paper because I think it really gives it a great effect. And I'm using a vintage stack from k and Company, uh, a vintage florals and wallpaper prints, which I think uh, is very nice. So I'm thinking about using this card as um, another Mother's Day card. So there's your card base. We're going to set that aside. And then you're, you're going to need to cut three pieces that are three inches wide by eight inches long and then you score them at four inches. So I've already cut my three and scored them. I've inked all of the edges. You can see I'm a little heavy on the ink. So you just fold them in half like this. And you set those aside for a moment. Then you really only need to do um, three of these, but I went ahead and did four, because this album I'm actually going to do uh, four photos and two journaling blocks. So I did two solid to coordinate with each of the blocks. So brown will go here, red will go in here, or this burnt burgundy, and this kind of light craft color that I've stamped with the... Uh, with lines from Noteworthy collection by um, Close to My Heart, so it makes it easy for journaling. So I like lines, and I think it gives it kind of an old vintage feel as well. Um, I'm going to take a quick break and cuddle bug these base photo blocks. Be back in just a second. Hi, I'm back, and just finished cuddle bugging the edge, the um, journal blocks and photo blocks so that we can go ahead and tape them down. Uh, it's real simple. Take your ATG tape gun. I'm using the 700. I also have the 714. And you just, you know, do your adhesive. And the journal blocks are three and a half inches long by uh, three and sorry three and three quarter inches long by two and three quarter inches wide, three and three quarters, two and three quarters, and then they just fold up. Pretty simple, right? So now you take your base and you lay out your card the way you want it to open. And I actually want it to open. Two to the right, one to the left. Not that it really matters. So just start in the middle, which will give you the place that you line everything up at. And again, just some adhesive. Trying to make sure that they're straight. I'm using multiple patterns because I really just wanted like a little house on the prairie feel for this project. 
So how simple is that? You could have four photos and two journals to tell the story of what this is about. Maybe it's a trip or a party or a shower gift for someone, college memories as you go through pictures, and it just folds up into this great little package. Um, to keep it closed, you make a belly band. And this belly band is super simple. It is nine inches long by an inch and three quarter inches wide, and this is nine inches by an inch and a quarter. And you just lay it down. Pretty simple. And you don't even have to worry about trimming up the edge because we have um, another small step to do. Here I've cut some top note shapes from Songbird. As you know, it's my favorite cartridge ever. Um, three layers, used pop dots on the back. And this keyhole is actually from a Jolie's Boutique. Um, new accessories that I found at Joanne's shopping one day with Melanie and Joy at lunch and had to have them. It also comes with some keys that I'm going to use on another project. So you just take your pop dots, center it up. So it's a multi-dimensional, three layers. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, brown, red, and um, this kind of light craft color, which are the same colors and scraps from the inside journal box. Did not cuddle bug this because I wanted it to be pretty plain because we've got a lot going on on the outside with the prints. So here we take the finished card, lay the belly band down, and fold the belly band over. It doesn't have to be too tight because we're going to cover most of it up. So you just take your adhesive, lay it down, center it up, make sure that it overlaps properly so that it lines up. And you want it to be a little bit loose so that you can slide it on and off. And then you just put your top note on top. So here's a little package, you take it off, and you open it up. Very simple. Hope that that gives you what you need, and I'll post the measurements as well throughout the video so that it's pretty easy to follow. Um, again, what a great little gift that is. I made my top note just a little bit larger than I probably should have. Um, but that's cut at four and three quarters inches, so should have been just about right. I'm okay with it being a little bit big, so I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more of these to come, so I will talk to you later. Take care.